Hi and welcome to our course series on NanoCAD 5.0. So you may be wondering as to why you need to learn NanoCAD 5.0 and let me explain a bit about what NanoCAD can do. So NanoCAD 5.0 is a free version of NanoCAD that has a set of design tools that allows you to create 2D engineering, architectural and urban planning drawings among many other things that you can do with it. And so let's look at some advantages of why you should learn NanoCAD 5.0. So the first advantage is NanoCAD 5.0 is free. The second advantage is that it has the same user interface and functionality of AutoCAD. So the skills that you learn in NanoCAD can be transferred to AutoCAD or if you already know how to use AutoCAD, you can easily switch to NanoCAD. They work the same. The third advantage is the minimum system requirements of NanoCAD are lower than that of AutoCAD. So NanoCAD can um, run pretty well on a computer with 4GB RAM, whereas AutoCAD requires you to have a minimum specs of RAM of about 8GB. To download NanoCAD, all you have to do is come to your browser and open it. And from there, all you have to do within the search bar is search NanoCAD. When the results come, uh, go to the one that is coming from nanocad.com, click on that uh, result, and it will bring you to the NanoCAD webpage. All you have to do is come to the products tab on top, and uh, come down to where it says NanoCAD free. This will open up a web page that will give you a description of um, the free version of NanoCAD. And from there, if you're interested, you can scroll down to see what you get in this version and what you don't get as well. But once you are uh, satisfied with that, you can click on the download button. After that, it will open a web page where it tells you how big the file you're downloading is. And you can click on download. And after a few seconds, your download will start in the bottom left um, corner of your screen right there and when activating it it will require you to open an account with them where they'll send a serial number for that specific um, version of NanoCAD that you have downloaded so from here to make an account with NanoCAD what you have to do is come to where it says go to account and then from there um, if you do not have an account with them you can come down to where it says create an account from here it will ask you to fill in your email uh, address, the first name, the last name, and your country, and you agree to the terms and uh, privacy policy, and then you come to where it says create an account. They will send an activation link to your email where you have to um, also further insert a password that you'll be using for an account. But for me who already has an account, all I have to do is come to, down to where it says sign in, and once you're done with that, you have to type in your email and what and your password on the bottom there and then sign in. And once you have signed in, you will find that you have your um, license information within your account here. So currently the license that I have for the free version of NanoCAD, which is unlimited and I can install it on 10 uh, computers. All I have to do now is highlight this. All I have to do is highlight this and right click and click on copy and I'll need it um, when activating the license. So to install NanoCAD once it's done downloading, all you have to do is come to the bottom and click the uh, arrow there and uh, click on open and the installation will start. So all that you have to do now is just click on next. Where it says username, you can put your email address. You do not have to put the company. Uh, click on I have a serial number, control and paste it and click next to ask you where the, the nanocard should be saved. Click next, next, install.
and then once it's done all you have to do is click on finish for it to launch the rig wizard um, when it comes to this part what you have to do is uh, leave it on register or activate license file click on next it will bring up your serial number that you got from your account and that we pasted earlier at the start of the setup you click on next um, to ask you some information that it already has and click next next all you have to do here is click next at this point um, leave it on request file online and click next click next and finally finish So once NanoCAD has been installed on your computer, you may notice it on your desktop that it will have an icon there. And all you have to do to start it, you can double click that icon or you can come to the bottom on your taskbar on the search icon. You can search NanoCAD. The first few letters will bring the search result. And once you click there, it will open. Or you can also look for it under your recently added um, a tab there you can click on it to start NanoCAD and once it opens you'll be greeted with this prompt from here you can directly get started to start a new drawing or you can open a new drawing by clicking here this uh, recent files allows you to view and open recent files that it saves but since this is a fresh installation we do not have recent files here So once you get started with NanoCAD and it opens up, this is how the user interface looks like. Uh, the first thing that we have on top here is the menu bars. Here's where you find different uh, menu bars. And then to the bottom of that, you'll find the two bars below the menu bars. So these are the two bars and the two bars can be adjusted to different places depending on where you want them to be. And here is where we have the documents tabs. If you've got multiple documents tabs open, you'd find them here. And right on the opposite end of that, we have the layout tabs at the bottom here. This is where you find the different layout tabs. This is the properties bar, and this is the drawing area. So this is where the drawing happens from this part. To the bottom here, we have the command line, this is where um, the command line, we have the command line and to the bottom of that we have the status bar which has a few buttons which run all the way to the end there. 